Excel's agents mode is now available inside Copilot Chat. And in this video, I will show you exactly how to get it and also five use cases for finance. So let's start. First, you will go to Excel on the web. That is where Excel agent mode is available. And you will see a screen like this. Then you will need to go to create blank notebook workbook. And you will open an Excel instance in the web. Now, provided that you have a Microsoft 365 subscription and Copilot enabled, then you will be able to see in here the Copilot icon. Then you will need to go to Copilot and allow Frontier features. So you will click on here and it will ask you in here if you want to give access to these Copilot features on the Frontier program. You can do preview features in order for you to see what features would be available with this mode. Then you will click on chat. And in here, you will need to go to tools. Now in tools, then you will see agent mode from here. And when you click on it, then you will be able to start using agent mode inside Copilot and describe exactly what you would like to create or edit. So now let's go to the use cases. The first use case is to create a dashboard using agent mode in Excel. So let's imagine that you have a data set such as this with month, revenue, cost of goods sold, marketing expense, and so on. In agent mode, you can ask it to generate a dashboard to analyze this data set with KPI cards at the top and then charts to be able to understand revenue cost and headcount per month you will send this prompt and then copilot will be able to use agent mode in order to create this dashboard for us. As for now, there's only one tab in here. That is the one where we added our data. So I'm not going to be clicking or adding anything myself. Everything will be done by agent mode in Copilot. So let's have a look. As you can see, it turned our data into sort of like a pivot table. Right now, it's just an Excel table. And as you can see in the right, it is telling us the steps that it's taking in order to create this dashboard for us. In this case, building the formula based dashboard. If you would want to know a little bit more of the steps, then you could go and click on reasoning. Now, one other thing just happened. It turned all of the formats of our table into dollars for all of the expenses, the revenue, the net income, and so on. Then the churn in percentage, it'll turn it to percentage and the headcount it left it in numerical values. Again, if you want to see a little bit more about it, then you could go to the reasoning uh, part in here. 
And as you can see, it outlines each of the activities that it is doing. The last one is the finalizing the chart setup. You could also click on each one of these activities in order to understand exactly what Compilot is doing. For example, in this one, it is adding the table to the data range to simplify future formulas and filtering, and so on and so on. Now, if you pay attention in the left side in here, you will see that now it appears a new tab called Dashboard. After Compilot finishes, we will go and see exactly what's happening in that tab. So all of the activities in here are already done by Copilot for us. And right now it's in the organizing data checks activity that once again, you can open and then you can understand that it's creating the titles, the KPI cars, adjusting the chart positions, and ensuring consistent formatting. Again, I am not moving anything and it jumped into the dashboard tab to finalize the formatting, navigating the chart verification, and now it is tweaking the dashboard for us. Whenever it identifies an error, for example, in this case, then the next step will be implementing the fix for that error. And as you see, there are many of those steps. It's verifying the final output. And once again, if it detects an error on that final output, then it creates again another step. As you can see, now it says dashboard created, and it's telling us that a new tab was created with the NAMI KPA cards and the charts, and what it did. As it says, just quickly, so a brief summary. Some assumptions as well, and you can click here to show the details. Now, let's go in here, and this is the financial dashboard that we got from agent mode. A very cool thing that I really like about agent mode is that all of these that it created for us are fully native to Excel charts and formulas. Therefore, you can update anything in here. So if you would want to change, let's say the title to revenue versus Cox by month, and then you can do USD, for example, then you are fully in control with everything in here. Also, the formatting, for example, if you want to do bold and then black and so on, everything you can change. One other very cool thing is that even this one, so even the KPI cards are Excel native formulas. So this one was created um, by agent mode in Copilot, but we can check the veracity of these formulas. So we can fully audit this model, this dashboard in this case, that Copilot created for us. In this case, it's taking R3, and then we could go to R3, and then you will see in here already the formula, the X lookup for um, the latest revenue. In this case, this latest month. Now you can see again that this latest month, then it's also formula, the max date, um, date um, the max of the month in the in the date, in the data, sorry, 
And then you can turn this into a date, for example, and then you will see if indeed it's the latest month. So in this case, December of 2024, which as you can see here is the latest uh, month. So this is one very cool thing about this new functionality of Copilot, the fact that you can change everything and fully audit everything one what Copilot agent mod, mode did. Now, let's go to one more use case. Okay, so in this use case, we're going to do a cohort analysis. Now, in here, again, we want to Copilot, enable agent mode, so in here, and now we're editing with agent mode. So in here, you can ask it to create a cohort analysis heat map. Similarly to the previous example, Copilot would be basically looking at the data that we have in here, that it's different products, different customers, and invoices for different dates. And planning first this cohort analysis heat map and then building it. Once again, you will be able to see all of the steps if you click on reasoning and you can see the ones that it has already created. Right now in here is telling us all of the plan. So first it is planning to convert our data to a table and then add these columns. So cohort month, month index, then to create a pivot table on a new tab with cohort month as rows, then month index columns, and then count of customer ID as values. And also to create a mirror retention percentage grid below in the pivot. Now I'm not doing anything and in the left side, you can see how it's already creating those two new columns. I will stop the video for a second, let agent mode in Copilot work and I'll show you the result. Copilot has finished working. And now you can see the new tab called cohort heat map. If we navigate there, you will be able to see the heat map in here that it created for us. Now, all of these are Excel formulas. So as you can see, you can audit the formulas and you can see if they are correct or not. Copilot will be also explaining to you in here exactly what it did. Bear in mind that that in Excel, there are always a couple of different ways that you can produce the same output. So I want to show you one more option to create this. And it's also using Copilot, but also using Python in Excel. Now we have the same data set in here. And then in this case, I asked Copilot to generate Python code to do a cohort analysis heat map. It created a code for us in here, and I just went to copy the code and paste it in the cell. Remember that to use Python in Excel, the key thing is that you need to do equal py, open brackets, and then everything that you paste in here would be Python uh, code. Now, in this case, one more important thing for Python in Excel to work is that you need to load your data set into what it's called a data frame. Now you do that by calling the form formula XL. Now in this case, I am naming this data frame as DF. That's why I'm call I'm mentioning DF is equal to, and then the data. I'll do it in a blank cell for you. So I can do equal py, open brackets, and I can do two ways. The first way is just selecting this all the way down. And as you can see, it's already 
creating the Excel and then table one all header true. I can then navigate to the beginning and say df1 space equal to and then everything else. And I do control enter. And now I have in here my first data frame. And in this case, I have in here my second data frame, which is this one, the one that I created before. Now, one benefit of doing this is that this um, chart is created by, by Python with the, with the library matplotlib, and this would be an image. So you can go and add it into PowerPoints or emails and so on. The one that we created before, it is a table. So you can also go and copy paste it, but then, and then you can turn it into an image. So it's just a matter of which one you prefer. But I wanted to show you these two methods of creating the cohort analysis heat map. Now let's go to the next use case. The third use case is a discounted cash flow model. Now, I showcased this in a previous video, but basically I just used a simple prompt like create a discounted cash flow model for Microsoft. And then agent mode will start to understand our request, creating some assumptions, forecast, and then the model. Now, this is a screenshot of the model that it created that as you can see, it has those tabs and I will show you live the file that it created uh, in this case. So again, the assumptions were here in the first tab and all of these assumptions, they were created by uh, agent mode, by Copilot. Then you would go to the forecast and again, one thing that is very good about agent mode is that it's creating everything into native charts and formulas of Excel. So you can go and audit every part of the model. So all of this was created by agent mode. And as you can so as you can see, whenever I was clicking on the chart, then this free cash flow forecast was basically from this data as well. So you can go and audit and check each one of these formulas. Now the discount, discounted cash flow model valuation you can see here. Again, all of this you can go and see with um, name cells. So in this case, this name cell and this name cell G, for example. Then you can see that those ones were in here. So that's those two. If we go back here, again, all of these are formulas in Excel, so you can go and audit everything. And it also go in and did a uh, sensitivity analysis So here, and it also applied the conditional formatting. So this formula, but also the conditional formatting in here. So you could go to manage rules, and you will also be able to see the, the rules and even uh, edit, it, edit the rules if you would like, uh, as you can see in there. Now, that use case, again, was on my previous video. And in here, I have the screenshots of exactly each of the steps that agent mode did. Now, I'll be adding this Excel file in the um, description section of this video so you can download it. This file also includes things like availability from Copilot, where to find agent mode. So you can go and click on the links in there as well and other prompts to try and some other notes and, and tips. I hope you would like this video. So please give a thumbs up and see you on the next one.